Sir Jim Ratcliffe has ordered Manchester United staff to return to the office from next month. Sun Sport exclusively revealed that the British billionaire has turned the training ground, toxic, after slamming the cleanliness of the facilities. The part owner recently sent out a memo to all staff declaring his disappointment after a tour of their HQ. That came after staff had their FA Cup final treats of free tickets, travel and lunch revoked to save money. Our report then also revealed that some staff who have been able to work from home have been told to get into the offices either in Manchester or London. Ratcliffe claims that email traffic dropped by 20% at one of his other companies when they experimented with Fridays working from home. Read more on Man U TDBADTUCH Man United fans say Tuchel passed his audition after disaster class versus real Charlie's Angel win Charlie Sloth's Mercedes G-Wagon or £100,000 alternative from just 89PA staff meeting took place last week where employees were bluntly told by the strict Ratcliffe, if you don't like it, please seek alternative employment. Staff must return to the office permanently by June 1st, despite some pushback from United's interim CEO Patrick Stewart. He had looked to try and protect the flexible arrangement, but his impending departure from Old Trafford was announced last week. United's internal communications team sent out an email this week that said Ineos are taking the time to review all aspects of how we operate as a club. Most read in football party like its 1999 Man United treble winners and wags pose on red carpet at 99 Premier Swap Shop transfer recommendations for GW35 Noni Madueke among tempting differentials player charged former Premier League star arrested and charged with drink driving alarm bell Laura Woods Bellingham interview goes viral after awkward TNT gaff live on air best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers it then read, part of this is looking at how we work how we create a high-performance environment where everyone can be their best, working together towards our common goal of football success. The key to achieving this goal is connection and collaboration. Everyone coming together as a collective to share skills, knowledge and ideas, building on the best of what we already do and looking at where we need to change and innovate. Inside Sir Jim Ratcliffe's amazing lifestyle, we believe this connection and collaboration is best achieved when everyone works together in close proximity. Although hybrid working has some benefits, it cannot replace the value of people being physically together. With this in mind, we will be asking all colleagues who currently have hybrid working arrangements to return to the office permanently. However, Sun Sport understands that spacing could potentially be an issue. Office issues the club's office spaces have undergone a refurb over the past 12 months, but they were designed with those flexible working arrangements in mind. That means that currently there are not enough desks at both their Manchester and London offices to fit each member of staff in. Ratcliffe and Ineos have taken over football operations at Old Trafford having paid £1. O3BN for a 27.7% stake in the club.
the 71-year-old and Ineos director of sport Sir Dave Brailsford have since quickly set about trying to rebuild the whole club from top to bottom. United confirmed the appointment of Jason Wilcox as technical director last month from Southampton. Pundits' verdict on Ten Hag's future Where do the pundits stand on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United future? Michael Owen. He has to go he cannot, simply cannot, manage this team next season. H is not good enough. Teddy Sheringham. Might stay if he wins cup but should go if United win the FA Cup, he could stay. But, for me, changes are needed and United need to get it done sooner than later. Jamie Carragher, sacked, I don't see how Eric Ten Hag stays. It's just performance after performance. Gary Neville, stay if he wins the FA Cup to sack a manager who's won two trophies in his first two seasons at the club I think would be extreme. Louis Saha. On the fence I don't see it as clearly, but they need changes from the players, but they need changes from him as well. Alan Shearer, sack, I believe the future of the Man United manager is already determined. Even if they win the FA Cup I think H is gone. That came after they announced ex-Man City man Omar Berada as their new chief executive. And a new sporting director is yet to be officially appointed, but is expected to be Newcastle's Dan Ashworth, who is on gardening leave, with more talks to thrash out compensation set to take place. Ratcliffe and Brailsford are also hoping to make huge strides on the pitch, and that will start with a huge clear out of the playing squad. United will listen to offers for all but three of their squad in this summer's transfer window with only young trio Kobe Mainu, Rasmus Hodgland and Alejandro Garnacho not up for grabs. Read more Sun Story Senior over out Corey favorite quits the cobbles as actress abruptly leaves the soap R.I.P. Nana influencer, Russian Nana, dies aged 31 after taking painkillers, for hangover, pressure is also mounting on boss Eric Ten Hag after Monday's 4-0 mauling at Crystal Palace left them sitting 8th in the table. He is expected to remain in charge until after the FA Cup final against Man City but many seem certain that could be his final match in charge.